Hey, this is Amy Nicole, a model for AMI Clubwear and Fire Performer. I recently performed at the Playboy Mansion this past weekend, and I'm so excited to have worn AMI Clubwear attire and wardrobe. AMI really has so many varieties of styles and things for me to wear that I can put together and create these awesome outfits. In fact, when I was there, I was pulled aside by so many girls saying, where did you get these clothes? They are so cool. And I was proud to say I got them at AMI. I've always been interested in fire performers and circus performers, but a lot of circus traits are very difficult and they take a lot more practice. I tried contortion training, that hurt really bad, and I tried aerial performing once I tried to learn that, and that was hard, and it just didn't fit. So when I tried fire, and, and that was something I always was interested in, I just felt like it was really me. Um, I ended up learning fire from a girlfriend of mine named Foxy Flamby. She has a company called Fire and Ice Entertainment and it's fire performers of all different types and other types of gymnasts, a variety of different types of performers. So the fire that I do, that I learned through her, is torches. I do eating, flushing, transferring, and fire fans. That's basically what I do with fire. Again, I've always been interested in um, circus performing arts, whether it's from the early 1900s or prior to that, to modern day performing arts, to, um, to more eccentric talents and things that look edgy, dark, interesting, odd, eccentric. And doing fire for me was a really good fit to actualize myself with those interests that I have. So fire is still flammable and dangerous and risky. So unless you've learned from a trained professional, in some type of circus school or from somebody who's a professional doing it, don't try it at home. There's so many tricks of the trade that until you know them and you've been supervised doing them, you should never do them alone. It's too risky and it could cause a lot of injuries, even death. So please don't try this at home. If you're interested in doing fire, find a circus school by you or another person that is a professional that teaches fire. In Los Angeles, we have a lot of different communities and schools to learn. So if you have any questions on where to go, you can always contact me and I'll help you out and steer you in the right place. So this is my first outfit that I ate fire in just this past weekend at the Playboy Mansion. And I'll explain to you what the pieces are because I got everything through AMI. The first thing is this awesome little hat that I got. It's an accessory clip-in hat from AMI. It has a burlesque look to it with a feather. This bow is actually a hair accessory, um, but I put it right on my bra to add some extra bling to it. The bra is part of a set that actually comes with a skirt with the fringe. I like this because it has the kind of burlesque look and the movement when I move around. The bottoms, I wanted to do a heart and black and white theme, so the bottoms have this lace heart and that matches my thigh highs that have the heart and the black and white stripes to have a little circus burlesque look. And my shoes are AMI Clubwear brand red pumps, kind of with a suede finish on them. And that's my first outfit. I try to avoid covering my skin as much as possible only because I rub fire on my skin and I don't want anything to catch on fire. So I prefer the smaller garters and things that aren't going to get in the way of my performing. The second outfit that I wore this past weekend when I did fire at the Playboy Mansion was this purple ensemble, ensemble from AMI Clubwear. Uh, first I have just like normal fishnet gloves that I use as accessories. Anytime you're working with your hands or performing, having some type of uh, piece that highlights the movement of your hands is always helpful. Second I have this big statement piece blingy purple necklace that I doubled up to shorten the length. I have two full lingerie sets on right now and the first one is this purple piece. It's a sheer shelf bra with a purple skirt garter and underneath that I wore a sequined bra and kind of booty short bottoms because when the lights hit you the, uh, the sequins really pop. So this brings my color and my sequins are sparkle into my outfit. So that's my second outfit. Uh, I wanted to show you a little bit about one of the tools that I use. One of the main tools that I use when I perform are fire torches. So this is a 12 inch eating torch that I use. And you can see it's a pretty small uh, wick right here. It's small, very lightweight. And with these, they typically are used for eating fire, flushing, which is when the fire is rubbed on your skin directly, transferring, which is when you put your gasoline on your skin, light yourself on fire, and then maybe light another torch off of your body. So these are really great because you can even just dance with them, move around with them, or do tricks such as the ones that I was talking about. 
So another outfit that I wore at the Summer Solstice event at the Playboy Mansion this past weekend is this pink ensemble, which was actually my favorite. I got a lot of compliments on it, but it's very simple. This is um, a set that comes from Am I Clubwear with the bottoms, a waist cincher, and a bra. And then I paired it with this awesome little mini top hat that has a skull cameo on it that I got in the costume section or the accessory section. Uh, I think it's meant for Halloween costumes, but to me, every day could be Halloween, so I loved wearing it. I also got some really cute pink shoes as well to pair with it. Otherwise, I kept it pretty simple. So let me tell you about the other tool that I use, which is called a fire fan. I have the fire fans here sitting on my duvetine. Duvetine is a fireproof piece of material that you can use to extinguish the flames or if you catch on fire. So it's another safety precaution. And this duvetine I got at Trick Concepts, which is a company that sells tools and safety pieces. So these fans that I have are more for posing. You can see that there are five torches on each fan. And what I do typically is just some posing type moves where I bring them around me, um, above me, kind of lighting my body with the flames. I also do maybe some spinning movements, but I don't really spin the, f uh, the fans too much. Some performers do a lot of spinning, which in that case there would be smaller fans that would be easier to manipulate for spinning purposes, but these are more for posing and dancing with. So these are the fire fans. It is a lot of fire, so with these you have to be pretty careful that you don't brush too close to yourself and uh, you have to be really precautious and keep safety in mind when using these. But again, unless you go to a school and learn from a professional, have a fire safety, know what you're doing, don't try this at home. So this is Amy Nicole again with AMI Clubwear, model and fire performer. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed just my little tutorial on what I do with fire and my experience this past weekend and all my amazing AMI Clubwear costumes that I had. If you have any questions for me, comments, anything you want to talk to me about, feel free to follow me on Twitter. That's Amy Nicole 13 A-M-I-E. You can go to my Facebook, which is facebook.com slash model Amy Nicole, again, A-M-I-E, Nicole, uh, where you can comment on this video, and I always check all the videos and the pictures that they post on Facebook to try to interact with people regarding the costuming and products that AMI has, since I'm obviously a very big fan. Anybody that can give me a little top hat with a skull on it gets an A-plus in my book. So have a great day, and again, contact me if you have any questions or comments, and I hope that you learned a little bit about fire performing today, and it expanded your knowledge of uh, one aspect of performing arts.